With the roof of the control tower starting to take shape, I start putting in some lighting in now dark room and some of the consoles and instruments that we will require. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Well, I'm painting because I'm sick of doing it, uh, trying to work things out at the moment. Jake, I, I suggest you probably do the same. What? Just stop painting. Never. I will never surrender. There we have it. Jake shall never surrender. Now actually, we're, we're trying to make this, this control tower pretty good. Go... Oh, actually. Of course, I just painted the chair. There we go. That's better. Okay, how are we looking on all of this? This is all starting to look fairly nice. I like this overhang actually, Ixia. It gives it a very interesting look. I mean, of course, it does make these windows partly redundant, but not wholly. It's like a um, rain going off. A what? A uh, nice little overhang so rain doesn't pool. Ah. Yeah, we don't have that in this country, I don't think, like that. Actually, when it rains, we just complain. We, yep, we complain about the weather, even if it's sunny. We complain about the weather. We're really good at that. We're really good about talking at talking it, about the it, weather. It's our calling. Yeah. We, um, everyone in Britain was born to be a weatherman or woman. Right, if you if you go down the street, you could ask anybody, "Oh, what's the weather tomorrow?" and they will know, or they will be able to find out. Uh, yeah, because the default answer is miserable. That's that's that is the answer most of the time. Yeah. No, it's the answer all the time. Even if it's sunny, it is also known as miserable because it's too hot. True. And of course, if it's raining, we excel because we have so many words for rain. You know that you know the ones that I like the best is that you know when you ask someone the weather and then they look up at the sky and then they'll look left, they'll look right, they'll look at the clouds and then they'll look at the birds flying and then they'll give you a weather report. Yep. Well you've got to uh, get your facts from somewhere. True. I mean to be completely honest, I do that to an extent myself. So Someone goes, what's the weather? I will look up at the sky. Right, I think all of those are correct. And then, let's see, you're doing that. Okay, I'm not sure what's going in the middle there. The skylight, if you wanted to. No, that would look silly. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's see. Right. Xia, what are you thinking up there? No, oh, I'm just trying to get a handle on these different corner pieces. 
What was that? Uh, trying to figure out which of uh, the different corner pieces. No, something dropped. Uh, I didn't drop anything. Uh, that was nothing at all. No good sentence starts with that was nothing at all. Uh, I'll, I'll have you find that there are many sentences which start with that. Uh -huh. That was incredibly loud. Are you destroying your silo? Mm, no, um, definitely not doing that. Why would you even think that I'd be doing that? Oh, I don't know. That was too posh. That's another thing. There's a question. Talk about British weather, things like that. Why do Americans generally think British people are posh? Uh, because they haven't lived in Britain, so therefore do not uh, know all of the different dialects we have. Um, and therefore have not heard Cockney. Or Scouse. Or Scouse. And they treat uh, Scottish, Welsh and Irish as not... Well, I, I think they mistake British accent, which is... You know, a lot of different accents uh, with English accent. English accent is the popular one. Yeah, I quite like the Scots, but yeah, I, sp I suppose you could say the Scots have a posh accent. Uh, Edinburgh is the posh Scot. Who'd be the posh Welsh? Oh, I, okay. I am not an expert on this subject, but I will give you my opinion anyway. I don't have one. Of course not. See, I'm, I'm thinking about that now. Oh no, I can't. There we go. Who would be the posh Welsh person? Pretend, uh, maybe South Wales. Yeah, probably South Wales. This one. How about I start constructing this from the bottom of the entire place instead of the top? What are yes. you trying to uh, make? Uh, the silo. Oh, you mean you're actually starting to put the walls in? Yes. Right, um... Do you need a hand with that? I'm good for now, thank you. Okay. I will yell as soon as I have done something irreversibly wrong. Lovely. Uh, right. What's this? This is light. Uh, these were th those ones, and that's going to be control tower light center. Now it's now it's starting to look more like a control tower. This is awesome. Really awesome. Right. Increase these and change these colors as well. That increase the radius. See, would you say that's a fairly warm color for the control tower? 
Yeah. Cool. I think you're missing. Do you have all four? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just dark over here. Yeah, it's just dark here. I actually think you're putting some computers around this, so it shouldn't look too too terrible. Uh, not computer yeah, terminal terminal. What what are these things called? Cockpit? No. Control. Control, yeah. Console. Console. Console works. That looks good. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, they look really nice. Um, what do we need? Interior plates. Next, yeah, next, next task is we really need to sort of seal up the stairwell. You already have a stairwell. No, seal it up, seal it up. Oh, we have loads of interior plates. Hang on, why don't you just replace it with a ladder? Because a ladder is not how we would do this. We probably could replace it with a ladder. Replace everything with ladders. Everything must have them. This is yeah, why we and we shall not waste them. This is why Space Engineers does not do updates. No, this is why Space Engineers does updates. I don't know what to put in that block to make it look good. Hold on, I'll I'll have a look in it a second and see what what's going on. What this corner block up here? Yeah, the blank one. Uh, oh, right, right, I see. I'll, I'll come up in a minute and see what I can do. Uh, do I have steel plates on me? Yes, I do. Does n do none of the um, what's it called extension blocks work in this? Uh, one part works for half of it. Oh right, okay, okay. Um, it's that current block that's sticking up like that. Ah. Okay. Oh, why do they have to do this to us? What would fit? Would this one fit? No, that doesn't even... I can't even... No. I can't even. Yes. Um... What's this? Okay, I found one that's the exact opposite of what I want. Literally the exact opposite. So surely there's got to be one that's in the right form. Maybe this one. No, that one doesn't work either. Oh, wait, does it? No. <sighs> Can we just put an engine here? A what, sir? An engine. Then we could just take off. Actually, what if... What if we made roof access through here? Would that would that work if we could just block that and turn it into roof access with a ladder? Since Jake was talking about ladders. Uh, it has to be a solid block. Oh. Okay. Let's have a look. Let me have a look in this. Let's see which ones blocks blocks. Uh block 
block. Come on. What about the aircraft one? Are any of them suitable? Uh, let me look. Because I've already looked at the two that are below that. So th there's a bunch, there's some aircraft ones, and I'm thinking plane block, light armor, inverted corner two base. Maybe. I can't see where this one's going. No, that's that's not gonna work either. Not this one. I nope, may have so. something. Okay, what we got? I got that one, let me see if I can... Is that the triangular? But that's not going to fit up there. Yeah, no, I'm trying to... How can they not have a block to fill that corner? Given they have all the other blocks. In the meantime, I can just see Jake down there welding. They have improved the effects again. Jake, are you making a ladder all the way up and down? No. I'm starting from the bottom and then working my way up. With a ladder? No, no ladders, just jetpack. Oh, ladder would have been good. Ladder is too slow. No, we'll have to put a we'll have to put a ladder in. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll add a ladder on the side. Yeah. Uh, that can be hit by all of the nasty stuff that we throw out, um, out of the engine. Yes, that's exactly what we want. All right, what we're we looking for: interior plates, motors, construction components, computers. Let's try and do interior plates, construction components. What do you think you're doing? Ah, you've encountered that too. Ah, there we go. Uh, press G to cycle through the different uh, modes. Oh, lovely. Okay. No, not G. B. Yes. You got um, free placement, gravity aligned, um, and then local grid. Okay. And local grid is ridiculously useful. Right, maybe... okay. If you've seen it. I haven't, I, I literally didn't know. Right, uh, motors, construction components, more displays, bulletproof glass. Let's go get the... oh god, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die. I will if I'd run out of jetpack fuel. Um motors displays bulletproof glass maybe slightly less motors and construction components
There's one. Oh, you, what? Displays. Of course, we're out of displays. It's fine. I can take it off. This, no, that has no displays. Of course it doesn't. I think this is episode three, right? Or of, of yes. the of the thingy. Yes, it is. Lovely uh, displays. Right, let's get some production going. Assembler seventeen. Please give me one hundred displays. Um, is this working? Oh yeah. Sorting things out nicely. Good. I'm starting to like this, this control tower. Yep. Hmm. What is that out there? X is disconnected. Bad internet? Well, we're almost at the end of this episode anyway. What do you think of the, um, towers with... Actually, I, I suppose you're still... Are you still below decks? Uh, no. I've done the thing I needed to do below decks. Uh, let's see. I think the only way in now is... Actually, there is a hole at the top. If it is disconnected, you probably didn't manage to fill that hole in. Uh, X is here. And not talking. No, no. no he's, he's disconnected. That, I'm, I'm, yeah. So, what do you think? What are you going to do about the corners? Sorry? What are you going to do about the corners? Uh, Xia's working on that, or he was working on that. He, he said he had a solution, so I was going to let him put the solution in. Which is why he'd taken off sort of that corner that he was on. He'd taken yeah. off everything around it to put the, his solution in. But uh, he disconnected. So I'm thinking of putting a few more consoles and stuff around. And each console will be set up to control something different. And then of course you've got the entire view of everything. Which I think looks quite nice. Anything you'd like to add since you'll probably probably uh, not, be not at this point, I'll do it when you're finished. 
Okie dokie. And you're okay with the colour of the carpets, because that's most important. Lovely. And with that, uh, I guess it's time to end this episode and figure out what's happened to one Lieutenant Xia. Jake, any closing remarks this time? Um, he's the There you have it. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Space Engineers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to catch more episodes. If you have not yet done so, please follow me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget and please consider also supporting me on Patreon www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Lastly, please do follow or subscribe to all the other players in this series. Channel links to the channels for Vectrix, Snaggles, Carter and Jacobin will be in the description box below as will the links to my Patreon and Twitch. Once again, thank you, and we shall see you soon in Space Engineers.